If you're looking for a great deal on an Airtable alternative that's on a lifetime deal, well, I have the deal for you. It's called Stack Up Buy. And honestly, I think it's the closest alternative to Airtable on a lifetime deal. So let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and this is Stack Buy. Right now, there's a current deal that's going on that you definitely want to check out. So it's a lifetime deal that starts off at $99, and there's a 60-day money back guarantee. I definitely like saying that because it gives you the calm of testing stack buy and if you don't like it you can go ahead and refund it so it gives you a lot of flexibility so check it out now what are the plans available right now let's go check them out these are the deals that are going on right now and the first deal that starts at 99 dollars gives you access to one user so if you are a solopreneur or just a one-man business then this is a good option for you you get 20 stacks you get rows per stack is 5,000. that means that each one of the stacks that you create or tables will have 5,000 rows as a limit now that's a whole lot depending what use case you have if you're creating a project management tool that's definitely more than enough right so you got attachments per stack file upload limit and these limits will depend on the stack that you are on on the codes right so you don't get custom branding on a single code but you do get on the double and multiple and things that you don't come bundled with this is the automated refresh method you don't get automations per runs per month so do consider that and revisions so the rest of that you do get access to. So check this out. You can go ahead and pause the video to see what you're going to get with this. Okay. Now I've had stack by since 2020 and you can see here, these are my codes. So it's definitely recommended by me because I actually use it for keeping track of certain things. And you can see I've been using this workspace for keeping track of my deals, my affiliate tracking site control. So I have several VPS servers and websites and IPs and I keep track of them right here. I can't show you those details, but for example, my deals, this is one of the ones I use. And for example, I keep track right here in the main section right here, where I have the deals that I have purchased before lifetime deals, the website, the price, the nodes, some images. I even give it a rating and I even have a little check mark here if I'm actually using it or not. Now I need to update this because I haven't updated it in a few months, but this is something that I use to keep track of when I buy deals. So you can use this however you want. Now, in this case, I've loaded in a CRM template that you can see how it actually works. So you understand the power of stack buy. Now, creating a column here for different purposes is super easy. Now, this is one of the sheets that's a template. But if I click on the plus button, you'll get a brand new column right here. And you can, for example, type in the title of this column and I can select what this is going to have. Like, what is the information going to have? Is it going to be a checkbox? Does it going to have attachments, a date and time, phone numbers, emails, etc.? And you select the type of field that you want to use in that column type. So it gives you several options, even barcodes, signatures, and even API service. So you can connect API. So if you bring details, for example, you want it to read every single one of your YouTubes and see how it's going and update any frequency. For example, the update of the views, the subscribers, the likes, etc. You can do that in Stack Buy. So it has a lot of a lot of power. So this sheet right here, which has several elements available that we can test. If I double click here, we can see that we have the selection and this is a single select. Every time that I do something, it's going to automatically save. So I don't need to hit save button per se. It's going to do it automatically. And I, I can also do a history comeback. I can take a snapshot if I need to. I can hit a notification here and there's several things that we can do here. Now, basically, you know how a Google Sheet works or an Excel sheet, right? So that's normal. We got columns, we got rows, etc. But the idea of keeping track of everything and making it look nice, it stack by really stands out in that situation. So for example, I just click on apps and it's tied to the information on this particular sheet. So for example, there's a pivot or priority status, a goal tracker, top deal close. And these are apps that we can add to each one of these sheets. So if I click on add an app, we got different situations that we can use here. For example, charts is what you saw right now. You can do summaries, descriptions. You can do an embed right there, a time tracker, a goal tracker, and you have all these available tools to really beef up your sheets. So I really love that Stack by has done all of this. Now that's, as I mentioned before, you, you know this, it's kind of like normal things. There's searches, there's, there's sorting, there's colors, there's row highs. You got all these settings you find, there's formulas. There's a ton of things that you can do here, right? but also you can do automations on stack buy. So if I go to the automation section, we can actually create triggers here that will do an automation. For example, I can do an automation that if I change this to low, it can actually update a different row or update one of the fields in this section. 
Why? Because automation can take care of that. So for example, in Trigger, you had these. When a row is created, when a row is updated. So if I update a row and bring it inside of here, let's go ahead and choose when the row is updated. In this case, I'm going to select this table opportunities and then I'm going to select a column. In this case, I'm going to say the status. So that's what I'm going to select. Here we go. So it's watching this column right there, right? And then I have actions. In this case, I can create a brand new row when that action, when that trigger is triggered in this case, I can update a row, I can send an email, or I can find a row or WhatsApp. So I have all these available options with the automation. Now these triggers will vary depending on the automation that you want to use. So in this case, as I mentioned before, there's different triggers for different situations. You can do a scheduled time, you can do when a row matches conditions, so you're using conditional logic, when a row is updated, when a form is submitted, when the row is created, and you have all these available options for the automation. Now, in terms of views, there's different type of views here that we can select. So for example, in views, in this case, we are viewing a standard Excel type of sheet situation here. There's also the Kanban view that we can use here. There's another view for different situations, even if we are on the opportunities section. So close in one, we'll be only viewing the one ones here. The close dates, log form, update form, Kanban, and there's more views that we can select right here. So all these available options are available for the views. So you can create tabs and you can create views for each one of these sheets. I really like all these available options for this. And once you're good to go, and once you like your stack of buy table and it's ready to go, you can go ahead and share it. We got the stack all records or views by records. So you use stack all records. We can go ahead and email the invite or we can create a link. In this case, for example, if I click on this, it'll give me options for creating that link. So for example, permissions, also like commenter or read only. In this case, we only, only want them to read. We can allow any email address or a specific address. Then we have options here for the workspace collaborators and we can go ahead and create the link to share it. So you can share this and just have anyone view it if you want. So if you're, for example, listing in deals or doing something, you can go ahead and share that and they'll be able to view it. And you can select if they can comment on it or just view it. So there's several available situations here that you can use this. Plus they have templates available. So you can go ahead and select something that you might like and just go ahead and use that for your uh, projects. For example, it's a project management tool, sales CRM, content calendar, roadmaps, etc. I like templates because you can use these clean them up and use them for your own purpose. And they also have another one that's called, let me go, go back over here. They have another one that's called one. So one is like a community where they have stack by tables that they've created. We can go ahead and use them. For example, a visitor management that was created by Ration. For example, I can go ahead and view this. And if I like it, I can go ahead and use this template. So we got those available options there. Okay, let me come back here. There's the integration section, so you can integrate with all of these. Now, these integrations work inside of the tables. So, for example, if I integrate with YouTube, let me go back here. If I integrate with YouTube, I can go ahead and bring in several details from the channel. So, if I add my API key, that will work. So, these are the available integrations as of this video, and they'll be adding more in the future. So, all that power in Stack by with the lifetime deal. So I definitely recommend that if you need to organize or you want to have an alternative that is not a month to month payment, I definitely recommend that you check out Stack Buy. So grab that link in the description and that's a wrap.